Operations Euchre is a game played by two-person teams who compete to create number sentences that equal the target number flipped by the dealer. To play this game, you need one deck of playing cards for every six players, sheets of colored paper, a different color for each team, scrap paper, and writing utensils. The objective of this game is to work with your teammate to combine two, three, or four number cards using operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division to reach a target number. Here are two helpful vocabulary terms to review before you begin. A trick. Players each play one card in succession, with one player winning the set of cards, known as the trick. In Operations Euchre, teams win a trick. A hand. A hand is the cards you are dealt. Before you begin playing, organize into two-person teams, sitting across from your teammate. The values of the cards are Ace equals 1, Jack equals 11, Queen equals 12, and King equals 13. The rest of the cards represent the numbers on the card. The player wearing the most black clothing deals first. There are seven steps to playing Operations Euchre. Feel free to pause or rewind the video at any point. To start, the dealer shuffles a standard deck of playing cards and deals seven cards to each player. For steps two and three, the dealer flips up the top card of the deck, revealing the target number for the trick. In this case, the target number is nine. The player to the left of the dealer plays first and play continues to the left. Step 4A. In order, and if possible, play a card onto your team's colorful playing surface. When combined with your teammate's card and some operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, your goal is to hit the target number, stating the number sentence to get credit. As we can see in this video, both Team 1 and Team 2 played two cards onto their playing surface, making it clear to see which cards were played by each team. Team 1 has played a 5 and a 9, and Team 2 has played a 2 and a 7. Step 4B. A team wins a trick only if they hit the target number exactly. Team 2 is able to win this trick in two cards by adding 2 and 7 to equal the target number 9. In the case of a tie, the tied team split the cards and count the full trick in their score. As we see, both teams were able to hit the target number 8, as seen by their number sentences. Therefore, both teams split the cards and each team wins the trick. It is also important to mention that a trick can be won with two cards, three cards, or four cards. If no team wins a trick in two cards, then a third card is played by each team in order. If no team wins the trick in three cards, then a fourth card is played by each team. Another thing to remember is that teams can reorganize cards and use different operations each time another card is played. A helpful hint to remember is that if a team hits the target number with a third card played, the other half of each team has an extra card. The first player, in order, leads the trick until cards even out again. To complete a round, repeat steps two through five of playing the game until all cards for the hand are played. Step six, record the score for each team. One point per trick. The highest score wins the round. Teams can tie. We can see that team one wins the round as they won four tricks to team two's three tricks. After each round, dealer moves to the left. Repeat steps one through seven to complete at least three rounds. After three rounds have been played, the team who has won the most rounds wins the game. Some questions to ask as you play the game are, suppose your teammate plays a six and the target is two. What cards can you play to hit the target? Explain. Another one is, suppose your team has played a four and a queen and the target is five. What cards, if any, can you play to hit the target? Pause the video if you would like to review more Think About It questions. There are several variations for this game. In the variation black and red, play the game as normal, but now black cards are positive numbers and red cards are negative numbers. There are other variations as well. Please start and stop the video to read them. Click on the instructions link on the Regional Math Center website to read the game rules or just rewatch this video, pausing as needed. Thanks for playing!